we are back and like I promised you, I'm bringing our partner Tiffany Lawler, but the expert of essential oils. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes, I actually met her last school of worship and she's a massage therapist and she works with essential oils and we were talking about different oils and you were the first person, like you've always heard of essential oils, but it takes that one person to really win you over and you were definitely were that person for me. Good. And you had explained to me about the mini crosses. Mm -hmm. Can you go into that for them? Um, well, I learned this in a class called craniosacral therapy, which is a part of my massage license. And actually, um, if you've ever heard of fascia, mm -hmm. fascia surrounds every, even the smallest fiber in our body. You can't count it because we have so much. And originally, scientists thought it was like a um, imagine a piece of dental floss or a string of thread that you would sew with. Oh, okay. But it's smaller than that and it surrounds every of the smallest tissue. Like everything in your body has its own set of fascia. But what science has just discovered, and they knew that fascia traveled vertically from the top to the bottom, straight up and down. But imagine if fascia only went vertical and let's say you fell down and hit your butt what would keep some organs from falling? Oh, so what happened was sense. in five diaphragms, you have one across the lower part of your pelvis, which is right above your pubic uh -huh. bone. You have one in your respiratory, in the thoracic. You have one here around your clavicle, one at the hyoid bone in your neck, and then you have another for your brain. Wow. Um, and what it is, is fascia, which I, I love that the Lord shared this with me and that it came out scientifically. Fascia is not just thread. They actually discovered it was tubes, and in those tubes carry light. Wow. And I love that the Father created us in his image because in him is light and, and there is no darkness. So what happens in our bodies is, um, you know that saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Oh, yeah. I hate that saying because it's not true. Um, for every trauma and every negative word that's ever spoken to you in your life, fascia loves to go up and down or in those diaphragms the way God created them to be. But when they don't, instead of being up or down, they ping off. And since they don't have a natural path to follow in that ping, they begin to wrap around the closest thing they can find. Wow. And if you took a water hose and shined a light through it and began to wrap it really tight, the light can't flow anymore, and that creates bondage in the body. Wow, that's amazing. See, when you told me that, I was mind blown. <laughs> mind blown. Yeah. I came back and told mom about that because I was like, I've never heard it that way. Yeah. It's like the Holy Spirit told so you that. So if you look at your back, like if you were to look at, if you could see inside your body from the back, you would actually see five sets of crosses um, in your back. And then also, that you, if you look at a skeleton from the back, your shoulder blades actually create a cross. Oh my God. Your gosh. head sits short up, it's a cross. Wow, and for selfish gain, I wanna know, I have two little ones. Mm -hmm. I'm not nervous about putting it on myself, but for my little two ones, how, okay, first off, what? I know lavender, and I know like eucalyptics, like when they have. See, this is this is why okay. I have you. <laughs> this is why. So, <laughs> lavender is the oil that everyone should have. Everyone should have a bottle of lavender for calming effect and what else? Lavender can be used for anything. Lavender will actually, if you cut yourself, lavender will coagulate your blood quickly. Really? Lavender helps with any kind of bruising. If uh, one of the ladies in here got some blood drawn and she's all bruised up, I actually went to a therapist before I left and got cupping. So I have those oh, huge hickeys yes. all up and down my back. And she did a lot of trigger point therapy on me. So I have lots of bruises. This will, do, this will help with the hematomas under the skin and they'll decrease them very, very rapidly. Um, you, the thing about lavender, this is the only oil, listen carefully, the only oil that you can put what we call neat on your skin, even on an infant. What does that mean? Neat means you don't need a carrier oil. So we have oh. three layers in our skin, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. Some oils have alcohol content, they're monoterpenes, sesquiterpenes, and phenols, okay? Just trust me. It's like another language and you're talking about. And it's how fast okay. they absorb through the skin. Well, when you rub alcohol on your skin, you feel like it's burning. Yes. That's because alcohol absorbs so very quickly. Well, certain oils absorb so very quickly, so it feels like it's burning, but it's wow. not. It's absorbing. 
Lavender's the only one you don't have to do that to. Wow. Because, and I don't know why, it's just something I've learned and something that I love about lavender. And the safest place to put any oil on any child is on the bottom of their feet. Wow. We have 20,000 of the largest pores on the bottom of our feet. And within two minutes, if I was to rub this on the bottom of your baby's feet within two minutes and I drew their blood, it would be found in their cells. Really? I did yes. not know that. Yes. So if someone is afraid to try a new oil, if someone is afraid to do something with an oil, um, put it on the bottom of your feet. Wow, I did not know that. What about eucalyptus? Eucalyptus is incredible, but eucalyptus is very, very strong. Okay. If you want to go with an oil for a child, um, the great thing about Young Living is we make blends specifically designed for children, and they're called the Kids Sense Blend. They're already diluted. You can put them in your diffusers. We have Sniffly's Gentle Baby that smells like baby powder, um, Sleepy Eyes, yes. Owie. And you actually guys. gave me this. I'm happy that you're talking about this right okay. now because. I had told you when I first met you, you know, the reason why I wasn't a big believer in essential oils was because I would use like seriously like 10 drops and finally I would smell something. Do you remember I said that to you? And she actually sent these over to both of my kids so I would put it in and literally like two drops were like overpowering in her house. With a pure essential oil and Young Living is pure, um, less is more. If you've got a diffuser this size, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but this is called a Desert Mist. It's our largest diffuser. And it holds about a cup and a half of water. Um, you don't put more than six drops of oil in that. Wow. And that's not just one oil. That's if I mix a couple of different wow. oils. So, okay, yeah. Okay, question. Less What's the more? difference between these oils versus ones you buy off Amazon that are a lot cheaper? Okay. So, I get that question a lot because Young Living is one of the highest priced oils on the market. But Young Living has, and you'll see it on the bottle, and I don't have my glasses on, please forgive me, it's called the <laughs> Seed to Seal Guarantee. That means that the soil has absolutely no chemicals or pesticides in it. It's completely organic, is the word we oh. use in America. The seeds are not hybrid. They're not being That's harvested or changing their molecular structure. They're being planted in that organic soil. They're growing and no pesticides or anything are being sprayed on them. They actually use oils if they get like a bad batch of oils that they can't sell to the public for whatever reason and they test them, they'll spray those oils on the plants to kill the bugs and the pesticides. Wow. So the, the, the pests, not pests. The well, pest. that's good that you talk like that because my kids, they eat all organic, gluten-free, and it's not because I'm like that extra mom. I wish I could give myself that pat on the back, but it's not that, it's that my kids have horrible eczema. So I realized that you know the gut health is king for it exactly. so that's why I feed them such exactly. clean stuff but now that you're saying that it's kind of counterproductive if I'm putting a bunch of crappy essential oils around the room but they're eating healthy it's counterproductive well let me tell you something else here's a secret um, y'all please don't hate me for this but your glaze plugins your scented yes i've heard about that softener, i've heard about that your scentsy candle warmers with the wax i know if you burn a candle in a home for 12 hours it's the equivalent of smoking a pack of cigarettes wow yeah i did hear well, that and i was lungs. one of those big fans and not only that <laughs> me too they me have too. they have scientifically proven that those candles are hormone disruptors so a lot of people and i know a lot of people unfortunately with thyroid cancer who had had thyroid cancer and always a common denominator for them were really fragrance homes and a ton of makeup like it was just and i thought that was interesting that they found that in candles right you know right so it's it's a myriad of and that's another thing i love about young living Ring. we have cleaning products we have toothpaste we have mouthwash we have hand sanitizers um, we have a skincare line. Well, now that you're talking about that, I know the king of Young Living is Thieves. Absolutely. So, everything I Thieves. I love Thieves. Everything Mom thieves. loves Thieves. She has one in her purse at all times. So, let's talk, talk Thieves. What, what is the crave, like the rave about it? So, Thieves is, um, because of the FDA, I have to be careful about what I say, but Thieves is so um, powerful to um, help combat things. We have um, the hand sanitizer that doesn't have, like most of your alcohols, and I know because my husband works in an Exxon plant, 
to, and isopropyl alcohol is actually drawn from the cheapest crude oil that's on the market. I did not know that. Yeah. So isopropyl alcohol, you're actually rubbing yourself with a petroleum-based product. Wow. This doesn't have it in it. It's essential oils, all natural. And as you know, you put some on, it's I not slimy, smell. it's not sticky, it dries really can fast. I, you know how and then I you can, can also put it, it up to your nose? It smells like almost, I mean, to me, I mean, it smells amazing, don't get me wrong, but it smells like those cinnamon gum sticks. Mm, everybody has a different Yes. Experience. We could do to the five oh, different people that so walk by, so. and everybody's gonna smell something totally. I don't know. Maybe that's counterproductive for me because I'm here <laughs> trying to hand sanitize, but then I'm like here, sm like smelling my hands, and they say, "Don't touch your hand, your face." <laughs> uh, but and then the new, the new and then one. You have the spray. Yeah, that spray. Which, okay, so the little sprays, or a lot of people say, "Is that the household cleaner?" No, it's not. Um, it's a concentrated. It's not. I'm sorry. It's not concentrated. The household cleaner is concentrated that you would actually mix. Um, to clean your home with and you can clean anything including your wood furniture and your floors. I love, just imagine having that smell in your entire oh, house. <laughs> I need I to get it. that. I need to get that. Um, and so, and this I take in my purse. I spray toilet seats. I'm spraying my mask. Y'all, if you're not throwing your mask away every time you use it, y'all need to be spraying it. Wait, why? Because you're touching surfaces and you're touching your mask and you're touching your face and everything's touching oh, you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I you know. know. I, I tell people that spray. all the time. If you're not, what? If you can't wash your mask, spray your mask. Um, and then, ooh, this is the I newest can't, I product. I can't wait. You send this to me. Um, it's Steve's chest rub. It's a new product that we just came out with, and um, so you're gonna squeeze a little bit out, and see this. You rub it straight on your chest. I usually do this every morning just to wake me I'm up. Excited. Like, I don't even have breathing well, problems. You should have you told know, me this. So I, I didn't wear I such don't a thick have necklace. <laughs> COVID or anything like that, you know. And oh my gosh! Isn't that incredible? Yeah, I love Vicks. And so, so this, is <laughs> this is the new Vicks. So, um, and with babies, since this is oh, strong, this I would so say probably like seven and younger. Bottom of the feet. Bottom of the feet. Bottom of the feet. When? Whenever. When is it like and just put some socks on them. Look, I'm yes. and everything. I know. Just leave it. But when you put the do it and put some socks or shoes on. Or but right before slippers. bed or like after. Whenever you want. Really? Yeah. You don't have. There's not a certain time of day to apply essential oil. Okay. And if you're using a particular oil, and this is, I think this is where we get modern medicine and oils mixed up. Like you could take a Tylenol, take two extra strength Tylenol, whatever, mm -hmm. eight to ten hours. Oh, look, there's Gwen on. Hi, ladies. Hi. I love all the things essential oils. Gwen, tell me in the description, because I'm just learning too, so tell me in the description below what your favorite essential oils are. Because I've kind of, now that she has like pretty much here, like I have a, lot. a treasure <laughs> of just them, I kind of want to see what everyone's favorite are. Um, so where was I? Chest rub. Oh, and yeah. the, the taking the Tylenol. Okay, so if you take a Tylenol, normally, you know, back of the bottle, eight to 10 hours, your headache goes away, right? Yes. Okay, so what happens with synthetic medication is at the end of our nerve endings in our body, we have something called prostaglandins, and they're like bugles. So when you hurt and the nerve feels that, it goes boop, 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 boop. Okay, so what a Tylenol does, it doesn't stop the pain. In the bugle, it puts a plug in it. So instead of going boop, 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 it goes boop, boop, boop. <laughs> A good one. An essential oil is different. An essential oil goes into your body and it says, what's wrong? Where do we need to go? And the minute wow. it hits your bloodstream, your body knows exactly where to send it that's creating the problem. Well, and that coincides so it, with all things natural. So it may take application after application after application. Mm -hmm. You may have to, like my arms get sore when I give massages, so I have deep relief which is an amazing deep or and what um, would you use that for for pain muscles a muscle oh, pain okay um if i get a headache which really? is not common with my sinuses i will because it's a hot oil okay remember we talked about mm -hmm, going through mm -hmm. the skin very fast i will take this smell well now i know i like hot oils and then <laughs> rub it around my forehead notice i didn't go anywhere near my mm -hmm, eyes mm -hmm. or if i have a pain in my neck so what's in this um, it's got some wintergreen peppermint. Peppermint. I different, yeah, love cedar. peppermint. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about something really quick. Let's say you decide to have another baby. Okay. Can, can you use essential oils? No. 
Yes. Why? Yes. Why? But there's cautionary oils. Okay. The great thing about the kids scents is Prego uh, Moms. Smart. And then there are some smart. oils that you can use smart. while you're pregnant. And I have a list of those. Um, I don't have a Young Living website, but I do have a massage therapy website, and I do have some educational stuff on yeah, there. Yeah, we're going to link that in the description below yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because, so, I mean, we have no idea. You know, that's why we're right. picking you. She's at School of Worship right now, and I we get actually bombarded with questions about essential oils. That's why I was like, perfect. She's my next victim. So that's why I picked her out and told her if she can talk about it. Right. You know, they actually asked me um, about anxiety. What essential oils for anxiety, people who suffer with anxiety? So I make a blend, and I put it in a rollerball look, that looks similar to a Young Living rollerball, but of course it's mine. Um, oh, so you make it and yourself. I make it myself with about nine different oils. The thing about anxiety is where your anxiety may stem from, mine doesn't. Um, my husband gets anxiety in traffic. I get anxiety in large crowds of people. Um, or if there's like confrontation that I know is coming or I'm getting upset about something, it'll be like, Ooh. and so what I've discovered about this blend and I use it on a lot of my clients, I have a hundred percent success rate with it and, um, I'll make them a roller ball and what they do is they'll either dump a tiny, just a drop in their diffuser and diffuse it or, okay. So remember back in the now, if you're old enough to know this, where would you roll your perfume? But do and you know why you shouldn't, especially on women? Perfumes are nothing but synthetic chemicals. Nothing but I know, chronic. I've heard that too. You have glands here. So where would you put Your it? largest glands are here. And if wow. you ever get overheated, you pour cold water there to cool off. That's a gland. Wow. Don't. But that's toxins. Why you want to put toxins on your body and over your glands, which infects your entire endocrine system. So you just don't wear perfume? No. I I you would my, fit into the Salem family. I use my they, that's like their role. No the perfume. ladies at the bank know when I get there because they say the old no, lady just no. They smell me before they see me. Yeah. 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 It does have that effect on yeah. people, I can't it? wear perfume. And if I get, like, the guy on the plane in front of me on the way here, he was, like, saturated. And I was like, thank you, God, for the mask. Thank you, God. And I was yeah. just... Dripping oils in my mouth because nice. it was just making me sick. Yeah. It, I mean, once you get free from toxic chemicals, it's incredible. Wow. It's a freedom unlike anything I've ever known. So are there any other essential oils you want to talk about? Um, you ask me. No, you tell me. You're the <laughs> expert. I have Okay, no so clue. let's go. So Young Living does have, it's called the ART, A-R-T system. Mm -hmm. We have a skincare line. These are the two that I use. I add frankincense to this one in the I've morning. heard it's really good for your skin. And I add lavender to this one at night. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, don't ever apply an oil straight to your face without testing it on your forearm yeah, here reaction. for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, everybody's stiff. Mm -hmm. The older you get, the thinner your skin gets. No, but that's so good that you say that. Because so people forget to say that. So going to burn the older you, even if, like even lavender, that wouldn't not normally burn, may burn because your skin is thinner. Um, but I add frankincense, number one, the Lord told me to. And um, I don't know if you can see, but I don't have any tiny little wrinkles here. Mm. And I'm closer to 50 than I am to 40. You look so good. I have a grandbaby. So um, I started this about two months ago. And all of my crow's feet around here. And my skin is more mm. thick. Elastic. It's yep. thick. It's more collagen. It's, it's not it. as thin as it was. The lavender I do because I got caught out in a storm in the Gulf one time, and then we ran out of gas, so I was in the sun with no sunscreen for like seven hours. And I have all of these huge black sunspots on my face that you probably can't mm -hmm. see now. Mm -hmm. Lavender decreases 